We're here at the Offshore Technology Conference and I see a lot of customers here that are interested in how we can improve the performance of their current assets. Uh, a few months ago when oil prices were higher there was a big interest in getting the first oil but now that oil prices have dropped there's a more interest in optimizing the, the assets that they already have in place. Well as you know oil production uh, oil wells deplete over time and so they need assisted lift technologies to continue to get oil out of the ground and one of the common technologies that's used is uh, uh, gas lift op gas lift and uh, one of the things that we offer is gas lift optimization. There are several things that contribute to uh, non-optimal, suboptimal uh, gas lifting and a lot of that deals with just the flow measurements and the instrumentation around gas lift and so you need to have a good fundamental gas lift on a well by well basis where you're using gas lift as a supplementary lift technology. Uh, but on top of that, when you are sharing gas, lift gas, across many wells, there's an allocation opportunity there, and that's one of the things where we really stand out is uh, offering uh, gas lift optimization across multiple wells. We actually use a full-blown real-time online optimizer, and it takes data, uh, it uses models. The models are developed using uh, traditional well test data. And you do have to have a good well testing program in place, but if you have the well testing and the measurements, we can look at how to optimize the allocation of gas, particularly if you're gas limited, and also look at uh, wells where you may be water treatment limited, where they're producing so much water. Uh, and so it's a full-blown optimization problem with multiple constraints and multiple variables to consider.